ISTQB Foundation Level Question 88. Which of the following is a typical test objective? A. Validating that documented requirements are met. B. Causing failures and identifying defects. C. Initiating errors and identifying root causes. D. Verifying the test object meets user expectations. Take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to don't miss new ISTQB questions and answers that will help you guaranteed and changing your skills. Join us on this learning journey. If you find value in that I do and my videos help you, then you have the option to donate through the links in the video description to I can release new videos on ISTQB questions on a regular basis. Correct answer is B. Causing failures and identifying defects is probably the most common objective of dynamic testing according to ISTQB syllabus. All the rest of the answers are wrong. Answer A is wrong. Validating that documented requirements are met is incorrect, as validation is concerned with meeting user requirements and expectations, while verification is concerned with meeting specified requirements. So this would be correct if we replaced validating with verifying. Answer C is wrong. Initiating errors and identifying root causes is incorrect because testers do not initiate errors, they try to cause failures. Errors are typically made by developers and cannot really be initiated and result in defects which testers attempt to identify either directly through static testing or indirectly through failures with dynamic testing. Identifying root causes is useful but is part of debugging, which is a separate activity to testing. Answer D is wrong. Verifying the test object meets user expectation is incorrect as verification is concerned with checking specified documented requirements are met, while validation is concerned with meeting user requirements and expectations. So this would be correct if we replaced verifying with validating. My recommendation. Don't mix up validation and verification terms. Please read ISTQB syllabus very thoroughly and remember by heart all these terms to don't confuse them on the exam. Explanation Finally, let's look at the section 1.1.1 test objectives in the ISTQB syllabus, where we can see that the second point is triggering failures in finding defects this is fully consistent with the correct answer B. I do think that you are incredibly talented person and it will be ridiculously easy for you to answer such kinds of questions. If you figure out all the ISTQB questions on my video channel. And then Passing the Certified Tester Foundation level exam will not be a dream, but a reality. Never give up.